So I don't know if you could tell, but I had already unboxed this thing earlier this week. The cord wasn't wrapped up right. So I just I just wanted to open this video with an unboxing sequence. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, what's up gang? It's Tristan. I'm back with another vlog. And today I'm asking the question, are 360 cameras worth it? So on Monday this week, I ended up getting the Samsung Gear 360. It came in the mail and I've been waiting all week to play with it. So here in a minute, Steph and I are gonna go out on a little hike and bring this little baby with us and see what we can come up with. But before we do that, I wanna talk about why I bought the camera. These past couple weeks, I've been scrolling on Instagram and I've noticed a ton of incredible photos taken with the 360 camera. I hit up one of those photographers and I asked her which camera would you recommend and she recommended the Samsung Gear 360 so here we are. Video wise I'm not a huge fan of watching 360 videos on YouTube unless it's like something extreme. It just doesn't appeal to me to have to click an arrow at the top of the screen just so I can see my surroundings. I think this 360 video thing that's going around is more so geared towards the VR headset which I'm fine with. I am interested in spherical videos. I wasn't able to test this thing out a lot this week but one thing I did notice, I recorded one video, exported it to my phone, it was just a regular 360 file, but when I went to watch the spherical version, I could watch it on my phone, but I couldn't save it to my phone. So if you guys know how to do that, if you have any tips or tricks other than recording your screen to do it, I would love to find out. I would love to get some spherical videos up in this vlog, take it to the next level, etc., etc. Photo-wise, I'm really excited about it though. I can't wait to get out on this hike and take some pictures, see what we can come up with, show you guys, and we'll critique the quality of them and all that jazz. Um, I did want to show you guys how to connect this to an iOS device. This is Samsung, so droids are compatible with it. One question I did have, is it compatible with iOS? It says them on the box, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that if you're a little confused on it. Now I had to lower the exposure a little bit just so you can see the buttons on the camera so I know I'm a little dark. Go ahead and get your laughs out. It's been a joke my entire life, ha ha. Bear with me. First things first, you're gonna hit this power button right here to power on your Gear 360. Now it's on. Second thing, you see this menu button right here with the Bluetooth icon? This is how you're gonna connect your phone. You're gonna press and hold that. And it's gonna ask you to connect to iOS, to Android or remote. There it is, Android, iOS, remote, Android, iOS. We're gonna to connect to iOS. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take out your phone, go to your settings, hit Wi-Fi, and your Gear 360 camera should show up. So you tap that and you connect to it. If you're connecting for the first time, it's gonna ask you for a password. I've already done mine, so it automatically connected. You're gonna get out of that, download the Gear360 app first, and then go into it, and you should be connected. So you take out your camera, and it should pick up just like that. Can you see me? Cool, right? And now we're back at the correct exposure and now you can see me again about that hike. We're about to go on it now, break this baby in. So let's go. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not in the best shape and it's, it's been a while since I've been hiking. So I'm, I'm not really prepared for this. This girl over here, she's like, oh, and oh my God, we, we just started. You wanna tire yourself out? <laughs> she's crazy. So we, we just finished watching the sunset. I would say that this hike is over, but it's not because we still gotta go all the way back there. I'm not looking forward to it. You said it's gonna be a lot harder going back. A little bit. A little bit. Here we go. You good? Yeah. Oh my God. This is nuts and it's a little... I just slipped. <laughs> Please don't do that. Look. All right, see how steep that is? That's crazy, we're not even halfway up there and I am winded and I wanna stop, but we can't stop because I gotta go home and edit this vlog. Is this thing focused? Focus. 
Okay, girl, I'm talking to you. Why do you make me do this? Just want huh? to see your pretty view. Yeah? Yeah. All right, back from our hike. I'm a little tired, but not too tired to show you how to get pictures from your Gear 360 over to your phone. So before you do this, make sure your Gear 360 is powered on and that your phone is connected to its Wi-Fi. Now go ahead and open the Gear 360 app and go to gallery. There you'll see all the pictures that we took earlier today. I'm just gonna click one right here and hit 360 in the middle. It'll stitch the pictures together. And then you'll have this little scope where you can see all around, you can see our surroundings at the top of the hill today. If you click 360 view and hit round view, it'll do the spherical shot. These are my favorites. These are what I've been seeing on Instagram as of late. You click out of that and hit stretched and you'll see the view, it'll take up your whole phone screen. And same thing, you can see our entire surroundings. Then you'll hit the dual view, where you can see the front camera and the back camera. And then last, you can see the panoramic. I'm not a huge fan of this, but this is the whole shot uh, stitched together. So what I wanna do, I wanna save this image as a spherical photo. So you're gonna back out to where it said gear 360 in the middle, you're gonna hit that. It'll stitch it together again. You'll hit 360 view, round view, and configure it to where you like it. I'm gonna configure it right there. Now hit those three dots in the top right corner, save as standard picture, it'll save it. Then go to your photos, and it should be right there, and it's saved, just like that. Easy, right? So I saved two pictures to my camera roll and airdropped them to my iMac. Let's see what they look like. Back to the beginning of this video when I asked the question, are 360 cameras worth it? Personally, I think that if you're trying to go out and take some cool, quirky looking shots real quick, I would get the Gear 360. But otherwise, for professional use, I wouldn't recommend it. I would go ahead and get something more higher end. I still might use this in my adventure vlogs, but I need to figure out how I can get spherical view exported from this to my phone without having to record my screen. Because like I said before, when you export video from here to your phone, it just does a 360 panorama and I don't want to use that. So that's it for this vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Again, if anyone knows how to export spherical videos from the camera to your phone, please let me know. Until then, stay tuned till next week. Again, my name is Tristan Irvin. I post vlogs every Sunday at 2 p.m., 5 p.m. Eastern. Catch you guys next week. Peace. Thank you.